Hey there, this is assignment 3 for Stanford CS193P Fall 2010 course. Um, and assignment 3 is to enhance our calculator to graph uh, user input expression. For example, y equals x. Very simple. And there it is. Uh, and notice our zoom is 1. And that's our default. That gives us from plus 12 to minus 12 on our axes. Uh, we can put in something a little more complicated, like um, the cosine of x. There you go, and it stays true even when we zoom it out. And the slider I put in wasn't part of the assignment, but I just put it in for brownie points, even though I'm not getting any points because I'm not a big Stanford student. <laughs> and our buttons do the same thing. Um, and one other feature I implemented, which wasn't necessarily part of the assignment, if we uh, put something that's larger than our default scale, our default zoom, uh, then when we load like 50 plus x, it's going to be up high on the y-axis. So it automatically zooms out so we can see the y-intercept of our graphed expression at the very least. Um, so that at least part of our expression is actually on screen when the graph loads. Um, so uh, this is pretty hard. On, on the icon, the origin is up here in the upper left. So that means increasing x goes this way and increasing y goes this way, down, which is kind of counter to most graph, uh, most coordinate systems. And then also we had to translate from the icons logical coordinate system to our graph uh, coordinate system. So that was my first time having to do anything like that. It was pretty hard. And I had to get a couple hints here and there. But um, I did it, and now I know how to do it, which is the point of the exercise. And um, that's it. Our next assignment is to make this work on both the iPhone and the iPad um, from the same actual application. One program works on both platforms. So that's what we're doing. See you.